Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to Using Cloth in Unreal Part 3. Uh, in this part, I'll be showing you how to make terrible cloth and tearing it with a shock rifle or any weapon, really. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do really quick is going to set up a simple area to walk around in. Alright, now we need to place a light really quickly. Alright. Um, one second. Okay. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to import our new cloth physics file. Um, go on ahead and check the description. I've included it. I'm going to put it in package cloth physics. Alright. Now before we uh, get started on making it terrible, I'm going to go on ahead and turn this material into two-sided. All right, let's go back to our cloth physics. Let's go on ahead and, all right. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to reply our material. All right. Cool. So now that our material is applied, let's go ahead and toggle cloth as well. Turn four CPU skinning on. Our bone is called cloth. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I want to turn on self collision as well as enable line checking. Uh, you don't actually have to turn on self collision, it's just something I do. Alright, enable cloth tearing. Set cloth tear factor at 2. I'm going to turn cloth tear reserve up at 256. Um, tear factor. Um, the lower the tear factor is, the easier the cloth is to break. Which it's not actually breaking at the moment. <laughs> and the cloth reserve is the extra vertices that it will make. Alright. So once you have all this set up, go ahead and minimize it. Go on ahead and select our cloth skeletal mesh, drag it onto the scene. Gonna raise it up a bit. Alright. Go into our <coughs> skeletal mesh actor for the uh, for the cloth. Alright, first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna set up collision so the cloth will collide with our weapon. So go to collision turn block all on. Alright. Go down to the skeletal mesh actor. Alright. Turn on damage applies impulse. Alright. This will make it so our weapons will uh, obviously apply impulse as it says. <laughs> but it will also allow our weapons to interact with the cloth. Go to cloth. Make cloth awake on start. Alright. Cloth RB clad default. Enable cloth simulation, and if you want hardware acceleration, cloth use compartment. Okay. Alright. So now, we just need to bake the lighting. Let's go on ahead and build it. I'm going to build it without light mass. Play from here. Alright. Right, I'm gonna raise that up just just a tiny bit. All right, build the lighting really quick. All right, as you can see, the weapon does interact with it. Probably can't tell too well because of the frame rate and the fact the cloth is still moving. Okay, 
open up console, type in all weapons, switch to the shock rifle. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one thing. Um, if you go back to your skeletal mesh actor, and then go to skeletal mesh components cloth, there's something called cloth impulse scale. You're going to want to set that to 10. Ah, now you can see it interacting with it a lot better. You can also see it tearing. Switch to your shock rifle. And there you go. You have a nice little size hole. Not sure why it just went black on me. There you go. You have a nice lovely little hole. Alright. So, that concludes this tutorial. Thank you.